Hi guys, so as you might know by now, one of my favorite craft supplies is colored hot glue gun sticks. I've used them in a ton of projects, and every time I do, I get comments asking if you can use crayons instead, and I never know how to reply, because to be honest, I don't know. So today, I'm going to give it a try and let you guys know, once and for all, can you use crayons in a hot glue gun? So I grabbed some cardstock, obviously a hot glue gun, and my crayons. My first instinct was to use a Crayola brand crayon instead of the other off-brand ones that I had. Obviously, you'll want to remove the paper from the crayon, but it turns out Crayola crayons are a little too big to fit into the hot glue gun, so I grabbed my craft knife to shave down the sides. Once I had it at a size that could fit into the glue gun, I had to empty out the glue stick that was already in there, and let me tell you, squeezing an entire glue stick through a glue gun is so satisfying. So when I tried to get the crayon loaded into the glue gun, unfortunately, it broke. But I just fed the broken end back in, and even though my crayons did keep breaking, it didn't end up being a problem. So once the wax from the crayon got to the tip of the glue gun, it just kind of dripped out. Turns out melted crayons are liquid. They're not nearly as solid as hot glue. You just get drips that kind of spread out. It is easy to make a splatter pattern, so if that's what you're going for, this is a great method. Next, I decided to try one of the off-brand crayons to see if it did any differently, and luckily those are small enough to fit into the glue gun without needing to be cut down. So I ran another glue stick through the glue gun just to make sure it still worked, and then the off-brand crayon did exactly the same thing as the Crayola crayon. Again, you can make a splatter pattern, but that's about it. It's just so liquidy that you can't really do much with it on paper. So every so often, I kept running a glue stick through just to make sure the glue gun wasn't getting clogged with the wax. I was willing to sacrifice my glue gun to this experiment, since they only cost like $10, but luckily it's still working fine, no permanent damage was caused. So trying out one more thing, I had an idea. What if I filled up a mold with the melted crayons? Would I be able to get fun-shaped crayons? Filling up these molds is actually really fun because you can mix the colors as you go and it's just really satisfying to fill up the entire shape. Once I had made a couple, I let them cool off completely and once they solidified a bit, I actually put it in the freezer to speed this up. Then I could just peel out each of my pineapple crayons and I think they are so cute. I don't love the green one, so I'm going to use it as my example to show you that yes, they still work as crayons, and you can draw from the different points on the shape to get different colors. So I'd say that experiment was a success. It's not a totally new idea. I've seen people do projects like this by breaking up crayons into small pieces and putting it in the oven. But if you don't want to bother with an oven, putting the crayons through your glue gun is an easy alternative and it works really well. So okay, what's the verdict? Obviously, crayons are made of wax, not glue, so you can't actually use them as glue sticks. And the wax doesn't stick well to paper, so even though you can cover large areas with color, it doesn't really stick on there. You can make a splatter pattern, and you can make new crayons using silicone molds, but for the projects that I've done where you need the colored glue to really have shape and dimension and durability, unfortunately, crayons will not work as a substitute. So I hope you guys liked my little experiment there. I honestly had no idea what was going to happen, so that was really fun for me as well. So I would love to know, are there any other craft hacks or substitutions that you've heard could work but you're a little skeptical? Give me some suggestions down in the comments and I might pick your idea to test out on camera and either prove or debunk once and for all. Please remember to like this video and subscribe for a new DIY video every single week. I'll see you guys next time.